Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue on Mary's Mantle Consecration, a spiritual retreat for heaven's help for busy individuals, families, groups, and parishes in the convenience of your home. And this was written by Christine Watkins and endorsed by Archbishop Salvatore and Bishop Myron J. Cotta. Prayer to begin each day. O oh, Most Holy Mother, whom I love tenderly as my own in your sacred presence, I offer to you these days of preparation for consecration in honor of the stars that adorn your heavenly mantle. I appeal to you and for your intentions, say him here. I'm going to give you a minute. Please show me the sweet compassion that you shower upon San Juan Diego, your messenger. Please give me a pure and virtuous heart like your own, so that I may derive the same consolation, the soothing of my pains, and the lifting of my soul that Juan Diego received from the gentle words you gave him centuries ago. Listen, put it into your heart, my dearest one. The things that disturb you, the things that afflict you, or nothing. Do not let your countenance, your heart be disturbed. Do not fear any sickness, nor anything that is sharp or hurtful. Am I not here, I, who am your mother? Are you not in the hollow of my mantle, in the crossing of my arms? Do you need anything more? Let's try to memorize this. Meditations on virtues and the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Make sure that you find a comfortable and quiet place where you can listen to the meditation. Second star, commitment. Try this one where encapsulates all that God asks of us. Just try. God is well aware of our limitations, our insecurities, our personality, flaws. He knows there is no need for us to hide, to try to somehow shelter God from the truth of who we are is folly and madness. Rather, we must expose all ourselves to the Lord and love and love Him as we are. If we wait until we are beacons of perfection to love Him, we never will. Holiness is not forged from the habit of throwing our flaws into a dark closet or hastily shoving them under the bed before kneeling to bed. It arises from the labor of continually exposing our weaknesses in contemplation and confession, where darkness vanishes into light and ugliness fades into beauty. Arise each morning and go in search of the face of the Lord, even if His cheek seems to vanish in the moment you reach to touch it, try. We are all bottomless wells made in the image, measure, and likeness of God. An infinite number of finites will never satisfy us. Only what is infinite 
can fill to overflowing, a well that runs so deep. Yet, we are paradoxical beings, always running after other creatures and things of this world, whose measures do not correspond to ours. For that reason, we are restless and dissatisfied. Without realizing it, we are seeking water in the desert landscapes and chasing shadows in search of eternal light. Arise each morning and commit to holiness, the only journey worth traveling in every endeavor, in every moment. Seek to imitate the Lord. Try. Commit. God sees and applauds us when we pick up our crosses and conquer our weaknesses. And He catches us when we fall trying. He sees, he sees that we express our love. He sees that we wanted to love him, but our flesh didn't allow us to fully love him and express our love. Gather your shattered crosses and try again. That is all he asks. It is when we are trying to love him that we shine in heaven's eyes. It is when we are trying to love him that we that he turns our frailty into strength. It is when we are trying to love him that he stands close by our side, offering his shoulder to lean on. We can only fail if we fail to try. Now, I want you to imagine Jesus right in front of you. And I want you to breathe in all of the graces that He wants to give you. As you breathe in, you breathe in all those graces through His love. You breathe in God's love in, and then you exhale everything that keeps you from committing to a closer relationship to God. So breathe in His love and breathe out anything that disturbs your relationship with Him. One more time. One more time. Now, grab your journal and in the silence of your heart, alone with your pen or pencil, writing in your journal, write how, with God's grace, 
you plan to commit to growing in your relationship with Jesus. And I thank you. I thank you for committing to God. And remember, this is between you and God, no one else. And tomorrow, oh, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to talk about the third star, which is love, and one of the three theological virtues. So I will see you tomorrow. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may, and may Mary's mantle always cover you with all of heaven's help.